welcome back to my channel and sorry I sound really nasally today my um, my sinuses and allergies caught up with me this week for sure but I am actually in my bathroom I just blow dry my hair and I'm getting ready for a blogger event at Phipps Plaza this is I think their spring event maybe summer I'm not sure but they did one in the fall and it was really fun they had um, a bunch of the brands that are in Linux and Simon Mall in Atlanta and they kind of displayed and talked about their favorite trends and pieces for the season and the swag bag was really awesome so I'm excited to see kind of what they have in store for us today hey guys so I'm gonna show you my outfit really quickly because I'm running behind because <laughs> don't be like me and definitely pee before you put a jumpsuit on but this jumpsuit was really affordable from H&M. I've never worn a jumpsuit actually so this is my first time. I think it looks a little weird on camera because the lights are really intense. And then I'm wearing these little pearl shoes. I'm going to turn my lights off and I also wanted to share with you guys a little quick story about the tanner. So I self tanned last night and then I had to paint my nails. You guys learn from my mistake and definitely don't paint your nails while you're still naked after self tanning because <laughs> then you cannot get dressed so tim literally had to dress me last night like put my arms through a shirt i didn't think that through that was i think the first time that's ever happened so if you have to self tan and paint your nails in the same night definitely tan first let it dry get dressed and then paint your nails always see the craziest things at Linux Mall. I actually ran to my car and dropped off the swag bag because it was so extremely heavy. I haven't even really got to peek in there so I'm excited. I'll just unbox it with you guys in a little bit. Like in vlog time like probably 30 seconds who knows. And I also changed it to some more comfortable shoes to do a little shopping. Right now I'm going to head over to shops around Linux or Nordstrom I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I changed into some flat shoes and I picked up some sunglasses and they were only $15 and they look just like Chloe sunglasses. So they look just like Chloe sunglasses, like similar vibe for $15 and they're pink. So they're, in my opinion, even cuter. So I'll share that with you guys when I can. So these are the sunglasses and I think they are so similar to like the Chloe vibe, like the oversized kind of 70s look and they are like a mauve pink. Um, 15 bucks, can't go wrong with that. I need some cheap sunglasses for the cruise because I do not want to take nice sunglasses on that. They just get sunscreen and who knows, falls in the water or something. And I'm at shops around Bucket or something like that. I'm going to go check out Draper James because I have not seen it, the store yet and I hear it's so cute. So I definitely have to check it out while I am around. So I'll probably show you guys around the store a little bit. <laughs> didn't see anything at Ballard I mean that I wanted to spend my money on and now I'm gonna go stop by Tim's work and say hello um, just cuz I'm driving past it so gotta stop in and say hello to Tim I have to pee so bad but I am holding out until I get home because it is no joke peeing with a jumpsuit like I'm gonna insert this meme this is like me right now Hi. What's up? 
You look so profesh there in your t-shirt. I look like I work for kids activities. Portable John? Portable John's. We should probably explain. That's what we think that our like vlog channel will be together. Do I have a diaper butt in this jumpsuit? They no. <laughs> okay. Good. No diaper butt. Hey guys, so as I was editing this video, I realized that including the whole swag bag was to be honest way too boring and long for you guys to see. So I'm just going to share my favorite things from the swag bag just so you guys can see some of the stuff that was in that huge enormous bag. So it's honestly no surprise but my favorite thing in the swag bag was definitely candy from Sugarfina. I am obsessed with their whole branding and I feel like their treats are just so fun. So I've always loved them. I actually had the champagne gummy bears at my wedding while we were getting ready. So I was so happy to see this at our places. So this came with the baby champagne bears, but first rosé and then peach bellini. I can't believe I actually haven't eaten this yet because I just know as soon as I open these, they'll just be gone like that. So I've been saving it for when I really want them. But I've always loved Sugarfina and I think their brand, and yes, it's expensive, but it's just like a nice gift to receive. These little cubes are so cute. And then my second other favorite thing was this Veluspa candle. So I just think the packaging on this is so sweet with the little scallop detail. And then I really like the sticker because it's gold and black and really classic looking. To be honest, I don't really burn candles in my house just because I use essential oils and um, I just don't know what's inside all of this. So I typically do use candles for decor though. So I don't plan to burn this because I think it's just way too pretty to burn even though it smells delicious. It smells very like very classy adult house would smell like this. <laughs> Anyway, so I just plan to use this for decor, but that was definitely my other favorite thing just because I love, I think it looks really pretty. I'll show you guys actually what it looks like where I have it set. Um, and then Michael Kors gave us these little tags. I don't know if this is a luggage tag or a bar. I'm assuming it's a bag charm, but I plan to just kind of throw this on my luggage when I get travel so that I know that it's mine. You just kind of loop it through like that. So that was cute. And then this is something I've never seen before. I don't know if I'll actually use it, but I just thought for a wine lover, this is a really cute gift. So we got a couple of these. They're actually just little plastic wine glasses. Um, I would want this cold, so I'm not sure how that works out. But the top has, you know, it's nice and it's not going to leak in your bag. So if you really love your wine and want to go wine, then check out these. These are just cute. That would be a good gift. And then Sephora threw in a lot of samples and that type of thing. Um, I was really happy to see this huge Lancome um, eye makeup remover. I've actually heard a lot about this, but it's honestly way too expensive for eye, eye makeup remover when you can just use coconut oil or I have stuff. So I just never bought it. But I'm excited to try it. I think this will be really good to take with me on my cruise in a couple weeks. And then they just had a lot of like mascara samples and random samples. To be honest, I'm not really good at using samples. Like this, that's a sample. I will use that. But when it comes to like little teeny packets, I'm not about that. I don't really try it. Those were a couple of my favorite things from the swag bag. Um, there was just a lot of random like notes or coupons or that type of stuff and it was just it was a lot so those are my favorite things all right guys so that is going to be it for today's video i hope you had fun coming along with me for this event and just seeing a little bit more of my daily life if you guys want to see more videos like this then give this video a thumbs up so i know thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video